Y'all can do the same thing. Two heats down, one final heat left to go as heat number three for men's individual event number nine. I think one of those athletes that we may not give enough credit in the gymnastic arena because he is so strong is the athlete in the center part of your screen, Tola Marquino. Well, I mean, I've, I've seen him kind of come through some of the other events like Wadapalooza and events like that. And I've talked to him and, you know, hats off to him. He's a wrestler. That's what, that's what wrestlers do is you're just good at all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> I know that he can be upside down. He can move himself around. He's moving himself pretty fast across the floor. <laughs> Marquino might just set the record for the fastest 10-meter handstand walk of the day. Vellner up to the rig. He's in the gray shirt. A couple lanes over is Lazar Jukic. Jukic playing that nice role of always sitting in second behind the best guy in the heat, you but he it, stays on his heels the whole time. Just, just hang out in that position. Hang out. And so when you have the ability to attack or it's time to attack, you can go for it. Jukic has moved ahead of Vellner. Moving at a pretty quick pace. And I tell you what, even if you're comfortable with these movements, I think that Vellner would be a tough person to race here to where you want to, yeah, I want to be ahead of you, but again, we're only in round two, so I don't want to try to just stay ahead, just stay ahead. Just like what you were saying, stay on his heels. Then if you can make the attack, make the attack, but let Vellner be your rabbit rather than you trying to stay ahead of him. You know, Vellner's one of those athletes that was really looking forward to this event, having a practice time nearing the times that we've seen so far between Yona Koski and Alex Kutulis. Koski setting the new time to beat in the previous heat. If you see in the upper left corner of your screen, seven minutes and 32 seconds, but Kutulis was 7.49. So those are the top two times. No one else has been within a minute of that. No, I, you know, and we're, we're seeing Pat Vellner, he's running and a little, little intelligence there, putting some chalk down at the end so that he's able to chalk on that transition, still jogging. Now we, we talked about like with Yona, he didn't run. He just was moving consistently all the way through. And we talked about the the difficulty of when you decide to pace. If you fall off that pace, it kind of it kind of screws you. We are seeing Pat pushing the pace. Um, again, he knows what the time is that he has to be. He is an athlete that is always aware of that. So he knows that he, if he's going to choose to run, and if he if he has the area to make up any of the time, it's on those transition. That's why he's moving quickly. Vilner still leading the rest of the field. Jukic. Holding on to second. Close in that third position might be Jason Smith. But if he's finishing his fourth or his fifth, but Vellner done with four, working into five. And we saw Yonikowski right around that three minute and 30 second mark at the halfway point. Took him another four minutes to come in, so only a 30-second difference between rounds so one through good. five and six through that's ten. So good. Like, oh, 30 seconds. Like, no, 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 no. That's six seconds slower per round. Per round. And like you said, that time can go quick. You chalk up <laughs> six seconds. You wink to your girlfriend, six, six seconds. seconds. Man, he is still running on every single transition. And it's interesting to see that because we saw Koski only walking. Yeah. But for him, it was those transitions from, <laughs> I don't say the transition from the transition. <laughs> oh, you mean the handstand walk. <laughs> turns out there's 150 <laughs> transitions in event number five. Bjorgen Carl Goodmanson, definitely one of those athletes we need to keep our eye on to keep pace with at least your second and third place position. But Vellner... We've had one athlete in every heat just walk away with the event, and Vellner currently is looking like that athlete with BKG nipping at his heels slightly. I think there's something about a gray shirt that makes you good at this event. Pat Vellner sitting in seventh place overall after two days. Could use 100 points in his pocket to start off day number three. We still have another day of competition. We got a long day today. A lot of points up for grabs. A lot of things can happen. 
When you're talking about your top two athletes, we haven't said two names specifically. We haven't said Roman Karenikov's name yet. We nope. haven't said Brent Fikowski's name yet. No. Nope. And that's because they are in the midst of the rest of the pack where you have athletes like Vellner and BKG. Both on pace with Yonikowski's time of 7.32. As athletes are working into their eighth round. Vellner looks very good on those rings. And again, still wasting no time. It, you got to think the speed of maybe Koski's handstand walk has now become the difference. It's, it's uh, one thing maybe. to go unbroken, but to go unbroken fast is all these elements that really don't come into play until the rest of the field starts to execute this particular event. I'm just so impressed with the way that Pat is quickly moving. I mean, he, he runs back to chalk, but right after the chalk, he gets right up on the rings. There's The transitions are so fast, and he, he it's, he's... There is zero concern. He doesn't look like he is remotely fatigued. Like, I think he could go on and do another 10 rounds is how comfortable he looks. And, and you said it yourself, is this is an event like no other where you know thyself is Vellner is working into his ninth round. And we see this workout take a few different elements. We thought, oh, if everyone can handstand walk and muscle up unbroken becomes a transition event. Well, if everyone can do those three things, now it becomes maybe the speed of your handstand walk event. It's not just the fact that you didn't fall down, yeah. but how fast could you do it without falling down? And Pat Vellner to the rig for the final time as he is just 40 seconds away from Yonikoski's time of 7.32. Now, what we did see Koski do is gather himself a couple seconds to make sure he got that last set of muscle-ups unbroken, where Vellner didn't waste any time. And if he can get that last dip, he will. And Vellner has just under 20 seconds remaining to try to beat Koski's time of 7.32. Wow. Five meters left for Vellner. And Vellner wow. will get 10 meters. Now he needs to sprint <laughs> across the floor. Oh my goodness. That was cutting it pretty close as BKG just behind him and maybe just behind Koski's time as unofficial around 7.34. But if it stands as we see it, Vellner could have got himself an event win with Bjork and Carl Goodmanson just behind with I, Koski's time in I'll between. tell you what, BKG was creeping up on Pat. I mean, Pat was out there the whole time, but BKG was able to pick that up. I mean, just a handful of seconds. That was an impressive finish by, by uh, Goodmanson. Vellner is done. BKG is done. As you can see Fakowski, gray shirt, orange shorts, finishing up a handstand walk, going back to the rig again. And those second place scores from the previous heats starting to come into play as Mayer is trying to finish his handstand walk. Whoa. Roman Karenikov kind of hiding in the middle of the pack the entire time, and that might be good enough for a fifth place finish oh, unofficially wow. for Roman Karenikov. Now, the question is, is what is Jukic doing? Where's Fakowski on the floor? I didn't think this would be a good one, particularly for Fakowski, just because of the sheer size. Of, and, and, you know, this isn't one that you put him in. There's a foot race to the end between Jason Smith and Tola Marquinho. And one minute to go, Jukic in the orange shirt trying to finish his 10 meters. But over up in lane number one, Elliot Simmons will cross. Haven't said Jeffrey Adler's name in a little bit of a while, but here's Jukic sitting in third coming in. Adler will finish. And we only had a handful of athletes. I think it was about seven finish in total. We had nine finish in the previous heat with one left on the floor. Fakowski will be done underneath that time cap. And that's going to be tough. We'll have to see that. That's going to hurt Fakowski's standings. Not too much. Not too much no, overall. I, well, he's, he has that 26-point lead over third place, and it's 34 points over fourth place Jason Smith, so it's all right. And, and talking points is that this point system 
doesn't really hurt poor finishes as no. much as it rewards good ones. So <laughs> It looked like Mayer might have had one round left to go. That is not the finish that Mayer wanted sitting up there in about 10th after two days of competition. But someone who needed this win greatly was Pat Vellner, who is sitting in seventh overall coming in, but got himself an unofficial win for this event here in event number five.